Hey guys, welcome to this week's live feed. I'm back in Pretoria and um, yeah, great to be back. Be back into the business and back into the daily hustle. So yeah, awesome guys. Um, this Today's live feed went great. We did them separately again. So the Instagram one was first and now we're doing the Facebook one. We had so many people joining on the Instagram one. I'm so excited to see the live feeds actually, you know, getting popularity more and more people are joining in and um, we're talking and we're having fun um, guys so today we talked a bit about products how to select your products and um, how to determine which products you need to have and I said that you need to have when you start up you need to have at least three products so I mentored a guy um, about his startup and he wanted to have one product and I said no look you have to have an uh, option so people like when they buy, when they want to um, buy something, they want options. So if you have one product, they can say yes or they can say no. If you have three products, they can say no to the one, but maybe yes to the other one. So definitely have options. Then Derek asked, how about if you have too many products or too many options? And I said, yes, you need to focus on your product types. So if you're a hardware shop, you're not going to necessarily sell sweets, toys, cars and things. Um, you need to stick to what, you, what you're about and what your business is about. But you need to have different ranges of products. So I talked about an A, B or C product. And I said, look, if you're a hardware shop, let's take that example. Your A product will be the hardware. Okay, the actual hardware because you're a hardware shop, you sell hardware, you're going to make a medium profit margin on that and you're going to want to sell a lot of hardware. But then you also need an A product, oh sorry, a B product. So your B product will be something that you do not sell as regularly. It's something that you only sell every now and then, but you can put a massive profit margin on it. So it would be something like, if you're a hardware shop, implementation. So the guy buys a new geezer or whatever and you say, look, we can also implement it for you and you send out your technician and he implements it. But obviously he asks, um, then you can ask a, a, a much larger markup on that product. And then you have your product C. You need to have your product C. Every hardware shop has that fudge or fizzes or cool drink at the counter um, that... Um, that just takes that last little bit of five rand or three rand from the client. So that is the a method of getting more income um, from the client before they leave the shop at the end. So that's your product C. So in your product C, you want to have a low profit margin, but you want to sell a lot. Your product B, you want to have a lot high profit margin and it should be a kind of exclusive or, or adding um, product to your main product which is your product A, which is a, a decent margin, but you want to sell a lot of that. So guys, that's a bit about your product distribution. Um, uh, guys, if you have any questions, send them in or send them in throughout the week on the direct, uh, direct message me um, on Instagram or Facebook and we will respond um, during the live sessions every Tuesday at 3. So don't miss them. Tune in every Tuesday at 3. Um, we're getting so many more and more people joining in. Today there was a lot of people um, asking questions and stuff. So I just picked like some of the best questions to, to also share on Facebook. So that was Derek's question. Clinton's question was, what is the best opportunity today in South Africa in business? What, what's the gap in the market? What should I do if I want to start up? And I said, the best opportunity today the best opportunity that you can go for the gap in the market the one you need to take is the one you've already out it's the one that you've already spent most of your time with it's the one that you've already been doing it's the one that you already have a passion for okay that's a weird answer but follow me with this one okay we're back okay the thing is guys um, if you are um, let's say you're in, yeah, if you're starting with business, it's going to be tough. It's going to be rough. You're going to make a lot of money and you might also lose a lot of money. So when you have to work that late hours, when you lose that money, when you walk into that wall, you're going to need 
something to carry you through the depth. And the best thing is passion. So if you have passion for what you're doing, if you have drive, if you have energy for what you're doing, then you would not be afraid to go through that dip. And when you do, you would be able to push through it. And that's how you create successful business. So let's say you're a gamer. You love gaming. My brother's big in gaming. So he plays Dota and World of Warcraft and all of those things. So let's say you're into that, okay? And you already... Okay. So let's say you're into that. You're into gaming and you already spend about, let's say, six hours a day. On, on it or three to two hours a day and that's your passion and that's what you love to do then I promise you you already know everything there is about that you're good at the game that you play so you can teach people around you um, you can coach people you can mentor people you can give training um, you, you already know where to get the best PC parts because you've 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 searched okay sorry for the interruptions guys we're struggling with the mobile data, with the Wi-Fi, with everything today. So I'm just going to push through this. Um, so you already know where to buy the best PC Pass at the best prices. You already have a, a group of friends that you know, that you play with. Um, on Steam, you have a community that you already know. So you can, you can leverage that to create local events or gaming conventions where people can buy tickets. You already know all the brands. So if you want, you can start a blog or a video or a review type of thing where you can endorse where brands can endorse you to review their their equipment and stuff um, you can film while you're gaming i mean one of some of the biggest youtubers literally just film as they game so that is the best opportunity the one you already know the one you're already knowledgeable about the one that's your passion that you're already busy doing anyway and the one that you're spending so much time on already if you can Find out how to monetize that, like the examples I've just mentioned. I mean, you can give classes, teach other guys, coach other guys. You can start a team and, I don't know, reap some benefit from that. You can buy and sell PC parts. You can help people to assemble PCs. You can help some a bit with IT supports. You can create events in your local area where people can game and land and stuff and play against each other. And there's so many opportunities just in that industry. Um, so take your industry, take what you're passionate about and change that into income. And guys, we are having an event on the 19th of October. Everybody asks me about Albert, how to start? How do I start? I get this question every day um, from so many people. And we've decided to have an event the 19th of October in Pretoria called How To. We're back. Um, so yeah, we're having an event in Pretoria, 19 October, how to start. And it's about how to start your entrepreneurial journey, that business or that side hustle, and just how to start. So check out my website, social media for more information. We're having it in collaboration with Franco Leibrand. So it's going to be a great. Frank and myself is going to talk to you guys about these things, about how to start. My topics is going to be your business structure and basics. Uh, lean business and then marketing and scaling so guys i'm so excited about that um yeah thanks for joining in the live feed uh see you next week at three we start at three on instagram so join in there and then we take it to facebook so guys it's great to be live it's great to talk to you guys and chat to you about these topics that we've just discussed um you know and change some lives and help some people with their mindsets so if you've learned something today, go and share it to people around you. Tell them about the different type of products. Tell them about, you know, how you should choose your products and how to get that going. And tell them that they should start their business. Um, everyone needs to have a secondary income or a side hustle or something to get you to that point where you can